Okay, good morning YouTube, how's it going? All good I hope, it's the 20th of January 2014 This year seems to be flying by even quicker than the last one I come to you with this headline here Sochi Olympics Militants Issue Attack Threat Islamist militants publish a video claiming they are behind two suicide bombings warning of revenge at the Sochi Games, ok? Now, um, obviously this Sky News report just shows you the video that has been posted and it, the two air quotes alleged bombers go on to say if you hold the games you will receive a present from us now if anything happens at these games I am putting it out there that it will be a direct result of Bandar Bush and um, what happened in Syria last year when Russia stood up to the west under false flag attempt uh, when the chemical attack went off in the Damascus suburb what happened was the West um, tried to use that as an excuse to get in there Russia stood firm and of course with Bandar Bush financing and um, manning the Al Nusra ranks in Syria he was pissed at that and if I bring you to this story here on Press TV Bandar controlled terrorists threaten Russia basically what happened was during a meeting with Vladimir Putin after the chemical incident, Bandar Bush, bare, I mean, the absolute audacity of this is unbelievable, but he actually openly threatened Vladimir Putin with Islamist terror attacks during the Sochi Winter Olympics because of their support for Syria. He also offered them billions of dollars um, to walk away and leave Assad by himself. However, Putin remains strong. And he stood by his ally in Assad. So I'm putting it out there, guys, we need to be on a red alert. Myself and Kip were talking as far back as the Boston bombing about how we were going to see more um, war, war on terror, if you want to put it, that kind of thing going on over in Russia. And it will all be stemming from Saudi Arabia, okay? So these two clowns here, uh, Suleiman and Abdur Ak Akman, Useful idiots, I would, uh, I would suggest. These two guys probably do think they really are jihadis. Don't get me wrong. They probably do think they're fighting for Allah and they're fighting for a good cause. However, I reckon if uh, the truth be known, old Bandar Bush and his CIA cronies will be the ones pulling their strings and funding their little present, as they call it, at the Sochi Games. Um, yeah, keep your eye on this one, guys. Obviously, we've had the bombings in Volgograd lately. Another bombing in Dagestan the other day. It's um, going to be a red alert for the month of February over in Sochi while these Olympics go on. And they choose to carry out terror around these events because you've got all these world leaders gathered for these games in the first place. It's good to have them all in the one room so they can sit and make their little deals behind closed doors because that's how these characters operate. The sooner we all wake up to that, the better. As you can see on the side here, Dave Lee Travis groped Lambada dance women. This is just a continuation of all these perverts. Alleged perverts getting taken to court for sex crimes, many of them dating back tens of years. And of course, before I leave you, this story here, Absolutely tragic, it's the story of the wee three-year-old boy who went missing in Edinburgh. His mother is due to appear in court today. Obviously don't know the full backstory of what went on there. But what I do know is that um, wee man, everyone's thinking of you and you're probably in a better place right now. It's tragic what happened to you but it's an evil world. And um, yeah, you're definitely in a better place wee man. Okay, so 